The most important thing is that the models are just going to get smarter, generally across the board. There'll be a lot of other things too, which we can talk about. OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman, said that GPT-4 is the dumbest model you will ever have to use again. These remarks indicate an anticipated rapid progression in AI capabilities, with each new model significantly surpassing its predecessor. Will AI be super intelligent in the future? When Sam Altman visited Stanford University earlier this week, he had a long Q&A session with topics like chatbots and the future of generative AI. Host lecturer Ravi Balani asked questions to Altman about the reported operating costs of GPT-3 and how they went up for GPT-4. As you may know, Altman has been a leading proponent of the AGI superintelligent theory. A supercharged AI chatbot like GPT costs an arm and a leg to maintain on a daily basis. We discovered last year that OpenAI has to pay up to $700,000 every day to maintain ChatGPT. It's interesting to note that Altman doesn't appear to be very concerned about the financial implications of maintaining these enterprises. Rather, he is more concerned with giving consumers powerful tools that will simplify their work and enable them to accomplish amazing things. During his discussion of ChatGPT, Altman declared empathetically that GPT-4 is the dumbest model any of you will ever have to use again by a lot. The CEO has mentioned the model similarly before. While there are speculations OpenAI is working on a new model, possibly GPT-5, which is anticipated to be really good, like materially better, acknowledge that GPT-4 kind of sucks. What a thing to say about your own product. When asked how much it costs to run each new model that OpenAI releases and how it makes money off of it, Altman responded, I believe it is a very good thing to do and very valuable to give people really capable tools and let them figure out how they're going to use this to build the future. He said he was also very willing to bet on their and everyone else's ingenuity to figure out how to solve this. When asked about the approximate $520 million that was spent on ChatGPT in the previous year, Allman stated that GPT-4 is mildly embarrassing at best. He went on to state that the company wants to use new model iterations to improve the LLM's performance and accuracy. A high degree of scientific certainty that GPT-5 is going to be a lot smarter than GPT-4, Altman said as he wrapped up his speech. He went on to say that given the nature of artificial intelligence and software development in general, GPT-6 would logically be superior to GPT-5. Altman was asked if AI will continue to get more expensive and how sustainable that is over time. He declined to divulge the precise costs of developing and operating the model. According to the CEO, it's about giving people competent tools and letting them figure out what to do with them. This implies that he lacks a strong financial sense, which could be the reason behind his exclusion from the company's venture capital fund, OpenAI Startup Fund. The billionaire promised that over the next few months, people will witness many different things, but they might not be the GPT-5 model that everyone is anticipating. Additionally, in an extremely competitive field, he refused to divulge any information despite the interviewer's best attempts. This will probably give rise to further rumours about upcoming releases, such as GPT-5, GPT-4.5 and GPT-4.5 Turbo. In the past, Allman has expressed cautious opinions on the significance of reducing the risk associated with artificial intelligence, admitting that some worries about the technologies are keeping up at night. Then, there was a rumour about GPT-5 launch in May. Sam Altman has denied rumours that the company is launching a search product, denying statements made in Reuters' article. The alleged release was scheduled for the day before Google I.O., the company's major conference. You can't trust anything on the internet, huh? It appears that we won't have to wait long before a big announcement from the company, though. There were whispers that OpenAI may reveal a rival search engine to Google. As several commentators on X had noticed, this was closely tied to Google's I.O. event on May 14th and the introduction of Apple's new iPad lineup on May 7th. In addition to the new M4 CPU, some sources also suggest that Apple's tablet will have an AI focus. To set the record straight, Orman took to social media platform X. He claimed that although OpenAI is planning to make an announcement on Monday morning, it has nothing to do with the launch of GPT-5 or a new search engine. What was about to be revealed, he hinted tantalizingly, feels like magic. OpenAI's official details clarified the nature of the upcoming rollout, confirming changes about ChatGPT and the release of its newest model, GPT-4. However, details about these updates are still unknown. We think the firm is going through some challenging times. In less than a week, the most popular AI firm in the world had three different CEOs before settling on the original. The non-profit board of OpenAI abruptly announced on November 17, 2023, that CEO and co-founder Sam Altman was leaving. 
just under a year had passed since the release of ChatGPT, which swiftly rose to the top of the App Store and sparked competition among companies to develop generative artificial intelligence. In a matter of days, CTO Myron Moratti and former Twitch head Emmett Shear alternated for the role of CEO. In the meantime, hundreds of workers at OpenAI threatened to quit in favour of positions at Microsoft, the company's principal backer, unless Altman was brought back by the board. Eventually, Altman made a comeback with a recognised board of directors and co-funder Greg Brockman. On March 8th, Altman and three other new board members were reinstated by OpenAI following an independent investigation of his abrupt dismissal. Elon Musk, one of OpenAI's co-founders, sued this business in the same month alleging that its initial non-profit goal of creating artificial general intelligence technology for human benefit had been abandoned due to its greed for financial gain. The CEO and new board members, Adam D'Angelo and Nicole Seligman, are leading the creation of a new safety team. A number of important AI experts expressed concerns about critical safety and security decisions for open AI projects and operations when they left the organization earlier this month, and the committee will provide recommendations on these matters. The new team's initial assignment is to evaluate and further develop OpenAI's safeguarding and processes. The board of OpenAI, which includes the three leaders of the safety team, will then hear the presentation of its findings. Next, the board will determine how to put the safety teams. This means that the newest GPTs would generate less inappropriate content with censored data. Now, let's talk about GPT-5. In January 2024, Sam Altman dropped a hint in a podcast conversation with Bill Gates that GPT-5 was being developed. According to reports, we might see it sooner rather than later. Two unnamed insiders close to OpenAI predict that GPT-5 would be published around the middle of 2024, most likely this summer. What, then, is the upgrade? GPT-5 is the most eagerly awaited LLM release to date. The AI model will process natural language more quickly and proficiently. Allman emphasised during the World Government Summit that the most significant improvement from GPT-4 to GPT-5 was actually rather straightforward. It is more intelligent. He clarified, the fact that these models are general is what makes them so magical. It will be more intelligent, which means it will excel in all areas. While many enhancements are anticipated, including multimodalism, fast speeds and new features, as stated in Altman's interview, a more intelligent model will improve every aspect that present LLMs have to offer. He said that if you ask GPT-4 the majority of questions, 10,000 times one of those 10,000 answers is probably pretty good, but it doesn't always know which one. Consequently, increasing reliability will be crucial if you want to be consistent to receive the best response out of the 10,000. GPT-4 users have long had reliability issues, and GPT-4 Turbo was created in part to address these issues by updating the model's output consistency and accuracy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to explore our other content. Don't miss out on the opportunity to subscribe for more intriguing updates. We value your feedback, so please let us know if you found this video entertaining. We look forward to sharing some exciting content with you soon.